oh no, we don't. We tripping over a rock. We're falling into his arms. His feet is just shoving these two together. Justin, I hear some rustling that pulls him back to reality. What was that? What a perfect encounter. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to raise for this. Our encounter was recorded? Oh, I'm definitely getting fired. Oh, honey, no, you about to get hired. Period. After getting caught sneaking around, you're fired from your job. But that opens the door to a new opportunity. What will it be? Hmm. Yes, today we are back with the next part of the Royal Bachelor on episode. I did the first chapter and some of you said continue. So we're going to try one more chapter. I'm going to keep playing the story until you guys tell me you're done with it and you're tired of it. But we have our character. She moved to Hollywood. She's trying to live her dreams out, especially because her parents are not very supportive. So I'm hoping we succeed, but it's looking a little unique because we're supposed to work on a reality show except the bachelor has a crush on us i think it's moving very very fast the credit is going very fast but um the cameraman caught wind of a little moment that wasn't even really that much of a moment and i don't think it's gonna turn out good it's gonna look like something it's not but it says there's a new opportunity, so we're going to see what happens. But if you guys enjoyed and want me to continue more, please consider giving the video a like as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go read the amazing Arthur Regina stories. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Counter was recorded. Oh, yes. I'm definitely getting fired. Yeah, we, we already saw the future. There you are. This is not good. I need to make sure this encounter is not telecasted. Otherwise, well, no one will ever take me seriously. My writing career might be over before it even started. I should convince the cameraman. I really need to delete that clip. Shouldn't you be filming the contestants and not me? The camera follows the prince wherever he goes, we go. That makes no sense, I'm not a contestant. And yet you're the one having sensational chemistry with him. I would delete this clip if Rachel tells me to, so she's the one you should be talking to. If Rachel hears this, she will fire me before I even make my point. Oh dear. And Rachel, Rachel's not very friendly with us. We barely know her and she's not having none of us. I just cannot stop thinking about what tomorrow might bring. I should just sleep on it. Maybe the production will not even know. And all this will be over just like a scary nightmare. The next day I walk in on the set, but everything seems normal. Maybe the cameraman didn't tell anyone about the clips. Ivory Graham, oh, he walked in. He already said our name. Yes, Rachel has asked to see you. Okay, we look good though. We look real good. Mrs. Woods, you asked for me? You take this. Oh no, does that mean she saw the clip? I frantically collect a piece of paper from the ground. When I read it, a scream escapes from my mouth. My worst nightmare stood right in front of me, a termination letter. Rachel, please let me explain. The rules stay clear that there should be no fraternizing between the prince and the crew. You failed to show any respect for my rules and I take that very seriously. So what am I set now? Oh no. I should even listen to us. I want to sue that cameraman because we were just having lunch. It's not our fault we tripped on a rock and he picked us up. The next days felt completely catastrophic as I tried to apply to as many jobs as I could, but all of them resulted in a rejection due to my lack of experience. I need to return to Texas considering there's no way I can pay the rent at the end of this month. No, we can't go back. Not with our father. He was sitting, he was setting us up. Why was the prince so friendly to me? Ivory, I know you're in there. Sally? What's Sally doing here? Well, have you not paid for the electricity or something? Why is it so dark in here? No, it's a bit rough. It's rough, Sally, okay. How did you get my address? I looked up your joining form, but that's not important. She said, don't, don't look at the little details. That's not what this is about. True nothing about it is now. My career in Hollywood is over before it even started. You're quite dramatic, aren't you? I came here to tell you that Rachel wants to see you. Oh, really? But why? I guess you need to find that out yourself. So stop packing up your apartment for now. What must this be about? Also, it's real cute the prince never tried to contact us and all this time. Mm. OMG is Rachel decided to give me my job back. See one set at 10 tomorrow. The next morning, as I woke up early, as I couldn't sleep in anticipation of what Rachel might have to say to me, I really hope I get my job back this way I don't have to go back to Texas. When I enter the production floor, I find all eyes on me. That's right. Live it up, people. 
Keep looking, keep looking. That's right, we are a star. Surprise stares and whispers follow as I find my way to Rachel's office, but I don't see Rachel in her office. Maybe I should wait here. There you are, come with me. Where? Just come. Sally takes my hand, leading me to the nearest fire exit. Are we jumping out the window to escape? Here. Sally winks at me as she sneaks a little note in my hand. It takes me by surprise as my mind is full of worries of what Rachel might have to say to me. Rachel's in Malibu. She's coming back to the resort in the afternoon. Really, I actually woke up at 6 a.m. to make it here on time. But what's this? You're such an overthinker, Ivor. Now read the note in peace. As Sally leaves, I take a look at the folded. Let's, let's look at the note, people. My heart almost skips a beat. It's from Prince Nicholas. The handwritten note was from the prince as he scribbled a sweet apology on it along with his personal phone number. Oh, this is kind of sweet and unexpected. On the back of the note, the prince hinted that he'll be at the secret lunch spot waiting for me. If I have forgiven him, I can show him my forgiveness by meeting him there. Oh, that's actually really thoughtful. Okay. The thought of meeting him again makes my heart flutter. Okay, so I guess he kind of put in some effort. Sally said Rachel won't be back until late afternoon. That gives me enough time to see what Prince Nicholas has to say. Um, yeah, we sneaking away. It's definitely worth sneaking away. Let's go see this prince and see what he has to say to us. What do you got to say, Prince Nicholas? I decided to go and find out what the prince has to say rather than waiting for Rachel. Yeah, we, Rachel, Rachel can go bye-bye. I can't believe how close we were to each other the last time I was here. I stand there looking around, trying to find a glimpse of the prince. I see him standing behind the bushes looking around. Surprisingly, he's alone as well. Hello, we are here. No many hundred times I've seen him before. The prince charm always gets me. Girl, the first time you met him, he br he made you drop your $10 cupcake and you were not having him one bit. Now we falling head over heels for him? I don't think so. Call for his name. Prince Nicholas. There you are. Here I She did not just curse. <laughs> Sis, keep your original energy. Keep your original energy. Don't do the switch up. Please don't do the switch up on us. You don't have to curtsy. I know the gesture is only expected if you're meeting a royal in their palace or political chamber. You read about North Indian traditions? I did my research when I applied for this job. Sadly, I no longer have the job. I'm suddenly reminded of the events from last week and all the things that went wrong. Oh, because I was in close proximity with the target. About that, I should really apologize. Costing you the job was never my intention. But why didn't you say anything is what I want to know. Like, why didn't you go up to Rachel and be like, hey, I met her before. So I went to talk to her. We were just eating lunch. She tripped and I went to pick her up. And that cameraman over there caught that on camera, which was not exactly what it looks like. And he wouldn't delete the footage or do anything. He was just trying to cause drama. Why didn't we do any of that, Nicholas? Why didn't we do any of that? But we apologize, I know. Interesting. But I don't regret saving you from that fall. I mean, okay. Okay, we'll take your little smooth talk. <laughs> we didn't need like a chip tooth or anything. He has a way with words. I'm suddenly reminded of how good it felt to find myself in his arms. It's okay, you don't have to apologize. I should have made the rules known to you. His eyes suddenly land on mine. He stares at me as if he can see my soul. A smirk appears on his lips as he steps closer. I'm aware of the rules, Ivory. They weren't enough to stop me being close. So you knowingly just got us fired. Prince Nicholas. What? What? Your Highness, you requested back on the set. I should head back before I cause you, cause you any more trouble. What trouble did this man get into? Not one. Not one piece of trouble. We're the ones who lost our job. I quickly find the nearest way back to the production floor. I open the door to a nearest room and let myself in, wanting to collect my breath. Why does this look like this is like the, um, like the confessional room? How can he be so rebellious? He's a prince with a bad boy antics. No wonder he... Bad boy antics? He didn't let us hit the ground. Okay. No wonder he agreed to do this show. He shows no care for the rules. Who's there? Who's this? You. How are you back here? I'm sorry, what do you mean? I heard about your little mishap on set last week. And the prince is here to find his bride, so anyone who meddles in the process will have to face me. I'm sorry, why is this our fault? What a scary man. You have no manners. 
You have very little manners for a royal assistant. I'm not a mere royal assistant. I'm the prince's cousin and third in line for the throne. I'm sorry. Do we care? No, we don't. Girl, don't rush out. Stand your ground. This little man is not going to treat us like that. I rushed out the dressing room that I encountered with the prince's cousin was so uncalled for. I don't trust him one little bit. Before I bump into someone else, I should just go and find Rachel. I knock lightly and wait for Rachel to answer. Come in. You asked to see me? I'm prepared to be at the receiving end of her wrath. Girl, grow a spine. Get a spine. These people are messed up. This is their fault. You did nothing wrong. She did nothing wrong. To me, I don't know what's in that little agreement she had about talking with the prince or whatnot, but we've done nothing. We ate our lunch. We went to eat our lunch in peace. He came up to us. Nobody, nobody's taking responsibility for their actions. But it's all our fault. Mm. I want to stick it to all these people. I prefer to be at the receiving end. There you are. Mm, there you are, Rachel. Looking as wicked as ever. The enthusiasm in her words catches me by surprise. Now tell me how badly you need this job, Ivor. We don't, Rachel. We don't. Like, real bad. Ivory, you're giving desperation. It's giving desperate. It's just, well, I mean, like... <laughs> She kind of is desperate, but we don't got to let the people know. But I know how important rules are for you, so I won't try to convince you otherwise. You're giving up too easily. Exactly. You can have your job back on one condition. Really, what is it? I'll do anything for you. That's the kind of enthusiasm I was expecting. Sebastian. Hello, I'm Sebastian, the creative head of the show. We must tell you, you have left quite an impact on our audience. And just on our audience? Yo, I'm sorry. I. Did y'all air that clip without our permission? Did y'all get us to sign a form? A release? I didn't think so. What segment? I don't understand. We aired your encounter with the prince as a teaser and it was the most popular out of the entire episode. I'm sorry. I'm gonna need my lawyers. I'm gonna need some lawyers to read over our hire agreement because I don't remember giving permission to air us on television. Uh huh. You're joining the Royal Bachelor as a special contestant. This is all kinds of mess. This is giving so much mess. So we're a contestant now. <laughs> we don't have a backbone. We got fired. It wasn't our fault. We didn't stand up for our sale, but we're going to be a contestant. We're going to be a contestant. This is, this is messy. This girl is messy. But let me know what you guys think. Do we do chapter three? Do we continue? Do we drop the story? You all are in control. You let me know in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching as always. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.